Hey guys, it's Kevin Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday and sorry for being late with my video, but today I want to go over help desk skills you should have for 2025. I had a PowerPoint slide I want to go over with you. I'm excited about the slide. It shouldn't be that long. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, obviously, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. We're closing in at 100,000 subscribers and see what happens this year. Um, but let me get started. Let me share my screen. I'm super excited with this slide I just created. You guys are going to love this slide. It should help you out with what you guys are doing. So let me share my screen. Uh, we're going to go to screen one. All right, sharing my screen. So these are help desk skills for um, 2025. The stuff that I have been seeing for the job market is, you know, I've been helping and training with students and looking at jobs and stuff like that. So... I'm going to just, I'm going to go to the first slide, which is why actually that was the first, this was the first slide, but second slide, obviously I'm going to, I'm going to say server 2019 or 2022, learn about active directory. So set up active directory from scratch, but also learn about shared drives and creating security groups, account creation, password reset, the whole nine yards on active directories. I have a lot of videos on these, so I'm not going to go over this today, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So if you know how to use active directory, you're going to be in a really good place because a lot of these jobs require you to know Active Directory or require you to know Google Workspace, one or the other. And I, I should cover Google Workspace at some point. I have not done that, but we'll see. We'll see with, with my videos. Um, the next one I'm going to tell you to look at is Microsoft Intra ID, Authentication, Application Management, and Access to Resources. So a lot of companies are on the cloud now and they're using um, intro ID and using these other services. So you should definitely know. I'm seeing a lot of jobs ask for this specific skill. So you want to do some research on it, maybe lab it up and play around with uh, intro ID. The next one that uh, I've gone over before and you should know about is um, MFA, which is multi-factor authentication. So you should know about any of these tools that are here. There's Okta, there's Dual, there's RSA. Every company has their own version of MFA. So you remember that um, you have to know how to set up MFA. If you're an admin, you should know how to reset MFA. If you're an admin, you should know about um, setting up MFA for someone's phone because they're going to call you. Oh, how do I set it up on my phone? How do I do this? So what I recommend for anyone that's watching my video today, I would recommend you set up, you set up dual from scratch. Um, just log into Dual. Like if you go to, uh, and I'm going to open up my browser. Um, so I know Dual is free. So Dual, Dual is free. You create a free account on Dual. You don't got to pay anything. Uh, free for 10 users. Obviously, it's not going to have everything you need, but you should know how to use, use Dual. Uh, I use it for protection policy. I set up a protection policy and use dual. So then I get prompt for dual when I said when I log in. So it's free. This is free. And I'm not I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I do recommend using dual. Octa, I think, is free for 14 days. I have to double check. I have never used RSA in a video, so I have to double check that one too. But dual is free, right? So you may want to look at that. All right, I'm going to the next slide. Next one is going to be. Uh, MDM, mobile device management. So like MOS360 is an example of that. Mobile Iron is an example of that. I know you could use you could use MDM. It's a little more it's a little finicky on Intune, but you could do M MDM on on uh, Intune as well. And there's other ones like Ninja One. There's a lot of different tools out there. But I know MOS360 is free. So I made a video on this. So uh, you do go to Google. You do MOS360. It's free for 30 days. Uh, I'm going to the website right now to share my screen. I mean, it doesn't have it doesn't have the best rating in the world, but and I'm, again, I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> you think I'm sponsored by some of these companies? I'm not. Um, you may want to look at a um, Master 60 as an example and look at that experience on your resume. Okay, so that's the next one. The next skill that the next skills that I've been looking at online and like just doing research online and jobs and stuff like that. It's obviously going to be SSCM, and they call it Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. So you should know about patch management, uh, software deployment, and remote access. So you should know about these things. Um, Microsoft, Microsoft's um, 
training for this is um you can learn you should be able to learn how to do it. I should probably make a video on how to actually set it up and do it. But um looks like there is a there's a way to do to get a trial on it. So I'm gonna see if make I make a video on it, but I'm looking at the I'm looking at the video. I'm looking at the website right now. There's documentation for training and stuff like that. So let me see if this this is actual training. Okay. Because sometimes Microsoft's article is like super old and it's outdated. So this is this training here on ports. So well, I will I'm gonna say look at Microsoft, look at their website and see if they have anything for this. I will download it because they do have a free trial, it seems. So I'll double check this and see. Maybe I'll make a video on this. We'll see. So that's the next one you should look at if you're applying for jobs and IT support or help desk. I would recommend that. The next one, which is super duper common, um, is learning how to use a ticketing system. So obviously, Salesforce has a ticketing system. Jira has a ticketing system. Remedy has a ticketing system. ServiceNow has a ticketing system. There's Fresh that Fresh Desk. There's like so many ticketing systems out there. And these are free. Like if you go online and Ticketing system free. Uh, you go to you go to Jira like Jira Jira's free. You don't gotta pay anything, right? There's a free plan. And if you go and do service now, developer, which I made a video on this, free, right? I know you could get the you get a demo on this for free. Uh, I think it's the one on the bottom. I clicked on the wrong one, but. You should be able to get this for free, right? So, like, I would recommend you, you just sign up for a ticketing system, and then you can add that experience on your resume. You know, that should that should definitely help you with your resume. So that's like one of the skills that I've been looking at, or things you should know is a ticketing system. The next, I'm gonna go to the next slide. Um, the next one is gonna be obviously the common one is Office three sixty five. So you should know how to troubleshoot. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, Outlook issues. I have videos on this. Oh, um, I'm not getting any emails on my inbox. Or I am, my inbox is too full. Or what happened to my view settings? Why the hell does it look like this now? Or um, an add-on is causing Outlook to crash. Or an add-on is causing Excel to crash. Or uh, a, a person sends me an email and it keeps going into the trash bin for some weird reason. Or my rules are not working because they have Microsoft rules, right? So uh, OWA, Outlook Web App, right? Exchange Admin, Mailboxes, uh, Distribution Groups, uh, giving someone send on behalf access, Delegation Access, Calendar Access. All that stuff you should be familiar with. Teams Admin, SharePoint Admin. So those things are you should be familiar with. Teams Admin is important because maybe, you, maybe your company doesn't want someone to like share attachments or, or send it, send to outside users don't know, right? So you should know how to do these things. SharePoint admin, how to create a SharePoint site. You know, you should know how to do that. If you're, if you're gonna be working for a company, some companies may require you to know how to do this. Some companies may not. Obviously every company is different. So the next one for me is going to be um, RM or remote tool. So you should know how to remote into someone's machine. And maybe they're using Ninja One. Maybe they're using, uh, I call it BumGuard or Beyond Trust. Maybe they're using AnyDesk. I put TeamViewer here because I know some companies are still using TeamViewer. I know that's it's strange for me to say that, but yeah, that's common. Uh, and I see some companies use Splashtop, which is another one, another tool. You know, it really depends where you work at. Every company has their own remote tool that they use, right? So that's something to keep in mind. And just keep in mind that, keep in mind that some of these remote tools are free. You get, you get them for free. You just got to go online and, you know, just search for them. So, and, and I'm checking online to see if there's a trial. There is a trial for Bumgard. So, you get a free trial from Bumgard. I just went on their website. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Um, There is a free trial for them. So, you really want to look at that and, take, and play around with it. So, there's a free trial for it, okay? You actually could sign up and create it. Like I'm looking at the sign up page. You could sign up and create a, an account and play around with it. And then you got that experience on your resume. All right. My last slide for today. 
Bec I mean, there's other skills you need to know. Obviously, there's way more skills than this, but these are the last slide for this. I don't want to go over. I don't want to go too crazy with this. Intune. So a lot of companies are asking for Intune experience now. So you should know about autopilot enrollment. You should know about software deployment. You should know about configuration, compliance, and conditional access. You should know how to. You should know how to create a policy that's like group policy inside of Intune because I have and the company, the company that I worked at, they use they use configurations and they use com compliance and they use they use policies that they set up and they even have PowerShell scripts that they ran using Intune. You could do that. So you should be familiar with Intune in the work environment. You should be familiar with that a lot of companies may require to have an E5 license if you're trying to run autopilot and enrollment. You should know you should know how to set up um, someone's computer from scratch when they're trying to enroll for the first time. You know, obviously, you should know how to create certain certain policies inside of Intune. All that you should be familiar with. I have no videos on this, but I should probably cover this as well. Um, there's there's not another slide of this, but I would like to throw in here as well. Learning how to use learning how to troubleshoot a VPN, like for example, like Cisco AnyConnect is very important. You will encounter VPNs in the work environment. A lot of companies still use VPN. So I'll stop sharing for now. So yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully this video helps you out for 2025. I just want to share my screen and go over these things because if you're brand new to IT, you're probably, where should I start? Where should I go? What should I learn? These are some things that, that you should be learning and focusing on for 2025. I definitely recommend you look at these things. Obviously, there's more than this, but like this is just to give you like a, a good start of where to start and where to go. With that being said, hopefully this helps you out and have a wonderful day. Take care.